Okay, we're going to take a look today at how we find the uh, antiderivative of natural log and inverse sine. So to start off with, we know that we use integration by parts when we can, when we have the integral of a product of two functions. Well, it turns out any integral could be considered a product of two functions if one of those functions is one. So the integral of natural log of x dx could be considered the product of natural log of x and one dx. And by writing it that way, we'll be able to figure out the antiderivative of natural log using integration by parts. Okay, so if we have one times natural log of x dx, well, we have a log here, so u is natural log of x. dv is one dx. The derivative of natural log is one over x. The antiderivative of one is x. So we have uv minus integral v du. That gives us x natural log of x minus the integral of x times 1 over x, which is just 1. The integral of 1 is x. So the antiderivative of natural log of x is x natural log of x minus x plus c. And this is one that obviously we can derive. We just did it. But it's one that you should have committed to memory. take a look at how to find the antiderivative of inverse sine, which is an inverse trig function. So u is inverse sine, dv is 1 dx, we can find du, we can find v, and using our integration by parts formula, so the left side is x inverse sine of x minus the integral of x over root 1 minus x squared dx. And hopefully what you notice here is we are set up for using integration by substitution because we have, if we let u equal 1 minus x squared, that derivative is negative 2x, which is just a constant multiple of x. So we establish u, there's du. Manipulate that to allow us to make our substitution. And now we're ready to substitute. Take the antiderivative and replace u with 1 minus x squared. And the good news is this is not a formula that we would need to memorize, but it illustrates to you if you ever did have to find the antiderivative of inverse sine, we know how to do that.